Well, pitching is critical to the success of a baseball game, and yesterday both ORU and TCU used four pitchers. For ORU, their pitching kept them in the game until the bats could come alive. Leanne Taylor is with us this morning live, and she has a very special guest with her. Hey, Leanne. Good morning, I do. I have the pitching coach. Wes Davis is here, and it was an amazing game yesterday. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, well rested after last night, that's for sure. You were telling me that each night you come back and it's like the tank's empty. Absolutely. It's been uh, it's been a fun ride, but we're we're getting after it and, and putting it all out there. We'll show some video. Yesterday was a very special day for the leadership, not only for the coach, but also for, for Kay Denton winning the Stopper of the Year. Tell us what that award is and what that means. Uh, essentially, it's the best uh, relief pitcher of the year in the country. and. Cade being our closer, being our go-to guy, was able to able to win that, which I thought was a, a really cool accomplishment for him. Yeah, Coach Fultmer winning Coach of the Year, um, and then being able to play yesterday. What was that day like? No doubt for him. Um, amazing. I think you know on, on multiple levels, he's he's uh, worked really hard to get here. He, he's done an amazing job. It's been fun to. No, I've been here for 15 years. It's been fun to kind of see his development as a coach and, and, you know, so proud of him. He's an unbelievable leader, an unbelievable man, um, you know, father, husband, all those things. And um, so that was that was a really cool award. But I also think it was neat. He had around like 25 or 30 of his family from Pennsylvania come in. Uh, they were running around in, in Fulmer shirts. So it, was a, it was a pretty cool day for I sure. I saw that. I wondered if they were if they were just friends or family. And, and obviously the team was there. And yesterday it was kind of a trick because you guys normally don't get to the ballpark that early. I mean, it was really trying to be sneaky, huh? No, absolutely. It was funny. We had to fight him a little bit because our schedule was was uh, out of routine. He's a very routine oriented person. Um, so being able to get him there and, and sneak his family in for the award was a really cool moment. Yeah. Now, you're an Owasso boy, if you will, went to Owasso High School. Uh, what, I guess there's some Owasso players here on other teams. Just knowing that you've made it to this level, what does it feel like? You know, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty special experience. And, um, you know, we, we joke around that, um, you know, north, north of Bird Creek in Owasso, it's, we call it the <laughs> land of champions. Um, so, you know, it's a cool camaraderie between guys from Owasso and, um, obviously, I followed Nate Ackenhausen and Brody Green and, and all those guys for a long time. Yeah, so those are two fun. other former Owasso Rams. One place for LSU, one place for um, TCU. Thank you. And yeah. they played, yes. Talk to us. I've got about a minute left. Um, tomorrow night, you take on Florida. Mm -hmm. And as the pitching coach, what's going through your mind? Um, you know, once we got through last night, we find out who our opponent is. Now uh, we got to sit down and kind of strategize a little bit, look at what they do. and. Um, kind of put a game plan together. One of the things yesterday that coach said in the press conference, because some of your big players yesterday didn't deliver, but others stepped up. That's kind of the responsibility. I mean, it's a team. No, I, I think it's a testament to our club. We've got we've got a lot of depth. We've got guys that that uh, do their jobs really well. So when somebody falls a little bit short, the next guy's got to step up and get the job done. And I think that's what they did really well yesterday. All right, Coach Davis, I really appreciate you getting up early and being with us this morning. Best of luck. I cannot wait to see how this all wraps up. Hope you guys are here for a very long time. Yes, ma'am. All right, we'll head back now to the studios there in Tulsa. I've got a little bit more. We're at this really cool complex. It's called the Omaha uh, Baseball Village. And I'm going to talk to the coordinator of all of this in our next half hour.